Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to get on Jack Bateson. He's now had 21 fights with 20 wins and six wins by um knockout. And um yeah, pleasure getting you back on, Jack. No, thanks for having me on, Sam. Good to, good to see you again. Good to get you on. Um yeah, I mean yeah, let's talk about the fight you had um yeah, last um Friday, you boxed mm -hmm. in the, at the Park Community Arena in Sheffield um, yeah. on the GBM card, and it was live on, on DAZN. Yeah, that's right, mate. And how did it, for, firstly, how did it feel getting back on DAZN? Uh, really good, mate. You know, DAZN is, is the biggest, uh, probably the biggest platform in boxing at the minute, and uh yeah, a, a, a great to get uh to get back on on the TV screens and get everyone everyone watching me again all over the world. Yeah, I mean, of course you you know you've had two wins um since that Shabazz fight and now this one, but it, was it good to get you know an opponent who's who was back coming to to have a bit of a fight? He was it what's the word? He was awkward. He kept like mm. sort of trying to smother your work he held quite a bit didn't he yeah he did he held quite a lot you know he, he came in with a good record i think he'd had 21 fights he'd lost four um when he boxed me and uh he was um he, he was a decent boxer but uh, from, from the opening bell all he wanted to do i think as soon as he he felt my my power he was just um he just wanted to hold and he made it really hard to look good against him but um it was a messy sort of fight yeah you did what you could Exactly, I did what I could, um, and it it was feeling the body shots. So I feel like on the inside, he just wanted to hold a lot. And I, didn't he? Um, he got a point as well, deducted for for holding. He did. He got a point deducted for holding, um, and I think if it had carried on much longer, it's a good job. Uh, you know, the corner pulled him out because I think the ref would have had to take more points or even possibly disqualify him if I didn't get him out of there quicker. You nearly um put him down as well. I thought you you had him hurt at times. Yeah, that's right. I, I, but he I think did. He, was... he held and he was he was good yeah. at trying to. He was good at holding and trying to smother your work. That's what he was trying to do. Yeah, he was, and uh, I think if I'd have had another round, I'd I'd, I'd have got to him and, and and put him down, and hopefully it would have been a uh, a conclusive knockout. I mean, that would have always been a bonus, but. You know, you did what you could with a a scrappy um opponent, and overall, you know, it you d you done what you could, and it might have not looked the the greatest of fights, but the the main thing is that you got your hand raised. One hundred percent, man. That's all it comes down to at the end of the end of the day. But the your the body work was working quite nicely. I think it was it was either the. The first, I think, first round where you landed a a good shot and he held, and I just think from then he didn't really want to want to know anymore. Yeah, I, I agree with you hundred percent. I think for from from getting hurt in the first round, he just didn't want to know and he just wanted to hold. Um, but the body shots were working quite well, and I felt felt it hurt him a few times, and I think that's why he was holding on the inside. Were you um disappointed with your performance? Of course. Would you have preferred the, the 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 of course that you stopped him, but you know what I mean, like a stoppage in the fight, yeah. not like up the corner pull him out sort of thing. Yeah, I would have liked to. I would have liked to stop him in, in the actual fight, like you say, inside the round. I think if I'd have had another round, like I said, I think I'd have I'd have put him down, um, and uh, it would have been nice to catch him clean and and get him out of there without the uh, corner pulling him out. But to, towards the end, you were catching him um, a lot. Yeah, no, I was. Yeah, he was starting to unravel uh, as the round as, as the rounds went by. Yeah, and it's. Have you watched it back since? Of course, it was only last week. But have you watched it since? No, I've tried to, but um, I've not been able to find a, a stream or a link for it. Um, I know. Uh, I might be able to get it on the zone, but I'm not sure when it's next being shown. But I'd like to see it again for sure. Yeah, well, if I can find it again, I'll um try and send you the link. But yeah, thank you, mate. But um, yeah, I mean that's your um twentieth win now. 
And of course, you know, your three wins on the bounce now with two stoppages as well in, in your last three fights. Yep. It, is it about, you know, now, are you looking for titles now? Yeah, I want titles. Um, I'm hoping my next fight before the end of the year is going to be a title fight. So, so uh, fingers crossed, you know, I've got a good team behind me working on it and fingers crossed by uh, within the next couple of weeks, something will be confirmed and I'll be uh, back in the ring real soon. Oh, that's good to hear. And will that be at um featherweight? Are you will you be competing at? Still? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be competing at super featherweight now. Um, I think over time, obviously with me having a, a couple of injuries, I've been, I've managed to um have that time to fill into a weight now, and I feel like super featherweight will be the best best weight for me. Mm hmm. Um. Of course. Um. At super featherweight, you know the British. I think. Um. Uh, Reese Bellotti has, and he's fighting Gomez. Uh, Who have you got in that fight? That's in two weeks, I think. Yeah, I think it's a real 50-50 fight. I think um, I think they're both both as good as each other. I think um, I think Gomez is just a little bit fresher, so I feel like he could he could come through with the win. Um, like I've said in the past, I think either of them two, I would. Uh, I'll be very, very open to fight uh, in the near future. What, so you reckon Gomez beats Bellotti? I think uh, if I have to go with anyone to win, I think I would go with Gomez just because he's a bit fresher, yeah. But I I think Bellotti's on quite a good run, to be honest, at the minute. No, he, he's on a decent run. I think uh, I think he's had better days. I think he's, he's coming towards the back end of his career now, that's all. Fair enough, but that, that's, uh, that's a very good fight. And very good fight. That you're keep is that a fight you're keeping a close eye on? For sure, mate. I'll be keeping a cl close eye on that. And uh, like I say, I I'd welcome uh, either of those two next. Uh, and I I've always dreamt to winning the British title, so uh, it'd be beautiful to uh, to be able to fight either of them for that. And I believe the Commonwealth is on the line as well in that one. That's right. So it's a big uh, it's a it's a big fight. It is. Um, I believe the English is getting fought for in um November between Josh Ho Ho Holmes and um oh, oh Lewis Wood. Okay, yeah, is that I think Lewis Wood is he the current champion? Um, no, it's um it's vacant. Lewis. Oh, Wood it's vacant. Central. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was central, central area champion. Area. Yeah, you're right. You know, I think that's a good fight. That it's a good fight. Um, I um. Yeah, I look forward to watching that. It's a good fight. Would you want to go down the English route again or not really as you've already won the English? Um, I'd fight for the English again. If you know, if there wasn't much else coming coming my way, I'd definitely fight for the English again. But um, I've definitely got bigger aims, you know, looking towards the British and uh, and Commonwealth and even further titles uh, down the line. But um, I, I would never say no. Fair enough. Are you no, you're not signed with GBM, are you? You're signed with Lee Eaton, aren't you? I'm not signed with anyone promotionally. I've got a management. Uh, my management team is uh, Lee Eaton, alongside yeah. my dad, Mark Bateson. Uh, they work together. Um, so I'm really happy to be uh with Lee Eaton's management. Let's go management. But uh, promotional wise, I'm I'm a free agent and uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to the biggest and best fights possible. Yeah, because I was only. Asking if you were with uh, GBM because they've got a, a super featherweight fighter, Danny Quartermain. Yeah, that's right. They have, and uh, he's got two two European belts, which I would uh, I would love to uh, you know get that fight made and and fight for those titles. Yes, yeah, super featherweights. Um, you know it's it's a good way to be at, and there's um lots of fights getting made and good fights there as is. well. There is, yeah, there's some brilliant fights being made. Uh, I'm looking forward to being part of them all. Yeah, and as I mentioned a few a minute ago, and there was, there's some other names out there as well that I didn't even mm -hmm. mention, uh, that uh, there's good fights out there for you, whether that's uh, British level, international route, or whatever route you you um, and your team decide to go on. For sure, mate. There's some brilliant fights out there, and uh, I'm excited to be involved in them for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, 
yeah, have you are you looking forward to any up upcoming fights? Like, are you looking forward to the Butter Biev fight uh, v Bivol? Yeah, I think it's a brilliant fight. I think it's really interesting. Um, um, as a lot of people, you know, who can't decide who's going to win. I'm with Bivol, um, on that fight. But you know what? There's there's been some brilliant fights being made in the past in the past year or so, and I think we've got a big big. Uh, We've got to be really thankful to the likes of uh, Turkey Al Sheikh who's been putting on these shows in in Saudi and uh, Wembley and stuff because the proper fights are being made now. Well, yeah, why why do you feel like Bivol's got the the edge over Butterbeev? I think he's a lot fresher. Um, he's uh he's younger. I feel like he's just got the tools to beat him. He can box really well, um, and I feel like for Butterbeev to win. He would have to get close and land, but uh, Bivol's really good at keeping keeping his distance and keeping boxing really well. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I I I just feel like Butterbeev, you know, he can get out box, but if he he shuts that gap so quickly, sometimes you yeah. can't create the space. But I I I am saying Butterbeev late late stoppage. I think it is a really interesting fight, and um, like you say, if he if he does manage to close that gap, it's uh. It's a dangerous place for for Bivol to be. Exactly that, and it's a it's a good card as well. Um, another fight. Um, Fraser Clark Wardley the rematch. It's a. Uh, I mean, I would have liked to see it over here in the UK again, but you know, it's on a it's on a big show still. The British titles on the line, Commonwealth yeah. as well. That's a good heavyweight dust up. Uh, yeah, who have you got for that rematch? That's a brilliant fight. Um. Fraser is a good friend of mine. Uh, I know him very well, and I thought he boxed out of his skin in the last fight against Ward. They actually thought he won the fight in the. I in I, the, um... I had him. A, I had a draw or okay like one point edging it to either way. But I thought it yeah. was it was one of those fights. But I think maybe if Fraser didn't get knocked down, he might have actually won the fight. Yeah, for sure, and I think uh, I think you know they're both going to come prepared. Um, I just think Fraser has his number, and um, he's worked very hard throughout his whole career. I think he deserves uh this opportunity, and uh, I think he will he will win the win the titles for sure. And you know what, it's a great fight. I'm looking forward to it. If it's anything, if it's anything like the first one, we're all in for a treat. Did you did you know Fraser from the amateurs then, or? Yeah, I lived with Fraser for about five years. Um, we travelled abroad quite a lot to to fight uh, in different countries and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been great to see him come up and obviously it'd be, it'd be brilliant to see him lift those titles. Well, hopefully one day you, you and Fraser can fight on the same card. Yeah, that'd be that'd be brilliant. I'd love that. So are you saying Fraser stoppage or...? I think Fraser on points. Um, Jai Opatai or Jack Massey? I think Jai is... One of the best pound for pound boxers out there, and he's he's uh he's really really impressed me. I think Jack has improved so much as a fighter, but I just think Jai is just um a step a step too far. And like I say, he's one of the best fighters in 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 the world at the minute, in pound for pound. And um, I would love Jack to win. I've known Jack a long time, and I think uh, I think it's uh. It's a brilliant opportunity for him. He he he, he couldn't he couldn't even say no. But it's um it's a hard fight. It's a hard fight to win. I just wish Jack all the best, and I hope he brings it home. Yeah, I hope Jack wins as well. But you know, Jai, he's sort of just stopping everyone really. And you know, there's only um you know a handful of fights left. Like maybe two, maybe two or three at a push, and then uh, at cruiserweight, you know, this one. Then maybe the winner of um, Zerdo Billum Smith, and then other than that, is who else is there really to fight? Exactly. I think he'll. I think he'll. He'll clean up in in the division he's in, and then he'll move up to the the big boys, the heavyweights. And how how do you think Jai could get on in the heavyweight division? I think he could do well. I think uh, Usyk is good proof of that because he's not a natural heavyweight and he's done very well. Um, and I think Jai would be very similar. Uh, in fact, I think Jai probably can punch harder than Usyk, so I think he might do even better. Which is, uh, <laughs> you can't really get much better, can you, than what Usyk's achieved? So, 
it's um it's going to be good to see to see how far he can go because he's the same age as me, Jai, and I actually came up in a, f a few tournaments watching him, and um, it's good to see how far he's come. Yeah. Um. What would if Fury and Usyk do the rematch? Do you reckon Usyk wins again? Yeah, I do. I do. I, I just think um I think he just got the tools to beat to beat Fury. It was it was like I would because the first eight rounds were quite tight, and then when Usyk in that ninth, I just think. He took those last four rounds, and plus he had that ten eight, which made it, which made it wide. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a good fight. It was very close. I just think. Uh, I mean, like I thought Usyk. he got personally. I thought Usyk got robbed off a stoppage, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. I can see what you're saying for sure, and I think. Um, it's it's going to be interesting to see how Fury prepares for this next one. Do you feel like um? The Fury AJ fight won't happen because you know Dubois beat AJ. Do you think maybe Fury Dubois is the the big British fight to make now? Dubois defeated AJ. Um, I still think Fury and AJ is a bigger fight just because people want to find the conclusion to who would win that fight, and I think uh, no matter if Fury wins or loses the next fight, I think they've. Fury AJ fight will still sell because, um, yeah, they maybe should have got it on a year ago or maybe even two or years he, ago. But or maybe even three. But mm. yeah, but let, if they get it on, if they get it on now, it's better late than never, I guess, and it, it will decide out of the two of them who is the better fighter, I guess, or possibly was the better fighter. Yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, I mean that's the fight every British boxing fan. And probably even um just boxing fans around the world want to see, uh that. Yeah, I think it itself just because of the names, and like you said, there's been a lot of that's been built up over the years, and people would be interested to watch. Mhm. Mm and um, yeah. From so, back to yourself. Are you you mm -hmm. did say you're aiming for one more fight this year, and will that be November, December, or? Yeah. Um. I think uh that's realistic. I think uh you know you know I'm injury free. Um I'm fit. I'm getting back into training this week fully uh into full camp mode and like I I said at the end of last year I want to this time next year I'll, I'll have a, a title or two in my hand and that's still the plan. Um so if I can get a title fight locked in before the end of the year let's get it cracking and um I, I'm ready for these sort of big nights. So you're back. You're back training already, are you? Back training and um, ready for whatever's next. Straight back in it. Good to hear, mate. Good to hear. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Just in case the the phone rings again, sort of thing. It, yeah, exactly. You know, in in this day and age, you know, the phone could ring at any time, and I'll be ready. Was it a short notice fight, the GBM one? I don't think it was. Was it? No, I had good notice for that. Good stuff. And um yeah, um oh yeah, before I let you go, do you wanna thank um just anyone, manager, teams, friends, just anybody helping? Yeah, no, a big thank you to all my sponsors that support me through through thick and fin thick and thin and then all the supporters that follow me throughout my career. Um you know, big big things are coming. I'm looking forward to a big end to the year, hopefully. So, yeah, I appreciate it. And hopefully an, an, another title as well to go with it. For sure. To Maybe add to even... the collection you've already got at the minute. You've you've got two back. You've won two titles at the minute, haven't you? That's correct. And hopefully I could get another one or two, maybe, you know, to finish the year. Fingers crossed, mate. And um, from me, thank you for your time. And, um... Yeah, well done on um the win on Friday. Well done. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Jack. Bye. Bye, mate.